Okay, so say you picked a color and you want to be able to show this color in your design manual. So this is the color, for instance. I'm going to click I'm in Photoshop. I'm going to click on this swatch. You'll see in this case that I've already had a the color was already picked in a color library book. Um, I'm going to go back to the picker. So color picker. I would go to actually let's do it this way. So go to the eyedropper, pick the color, click on here. You'll see that we have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black build here. We've got RGB build here, and we've got the hexadecimal number here. And so we would take these numbers and we would write them down or copy and paste them and keep track of those numbers. We can also go to color libraries and we would pick the Pantone solid coated color library and you'll see that it gives us Pantone 186. If I click OK, and I select all this color, and I go to Image Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and I'm going to change this to a different color. Click OK. Again, I take the eyedropper and I select here. Again, it gives me CMYK, RGB, and hexadecimal values for this particular color. And if I hit color libraries, you'll see that it gives me the nearest approximation that it can of what the actual Pantone color would be. And so you could then, if this was, um, say this was the closest that it could do. You could then go and actually take the picker and go and use these numbers because they will absolutely match the Pantone color or they will be the nearest approximation of the Pantone color that you ended up picking if it didn't exactly match the original color that you were with. Um, hope that makes sense. Click OK. And if I, I'm just going to double check this. Color libraries. right there and now that one two forty picker and slightly different color values and I can also add this to my swatches Click OK. OK. If I go to View, or rather Window Swatches, you'll see that there's the swatch.